WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, uh, well, it's mostly cloudy. Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We got a bit of a mixed bag out there. That mix goes like this. The Dow's up 26. The Russell's up 12. The Trannies are up 26. To the downside would be the NASDAQ 100, up 34 points. The S&P is flat. The semis are down 23 points. That's about 7 tenths percent to the downside. Gold's off 17 bucks, another 9 tenths there. Silver's down 41 cents, 1 and 6 tenths percent. Light's recruit is off 63 pennies. Trade out 81.89, although we'll change that to June contract here shortly. Natural gas. Print out at 229. It's up 18 cents. About a 9% move in a 30 year treasures off one point. Trading down at 129.22. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at, by taking a look at that nine panel market update chart in the ES mini on the upper left. You've got that sell. The D point pattern remains in effect unless we see a close about 41.77.75. We're at 41.62 right now. Spot volatilities still well below its 50 day exponents moving average. That is always uh, bullish for the S&P 500. The NASDAQ 100 has an A to B equal C to the upside, unless some type of bearish reversal candle forms, in which case it would confirm a Rhodes momentum indicator top. Short of that, price should target 13,996. U.S. dollar index on Friday formed another buy the D point pattern, and now we've got a new daily profile that is formed with resistance being 102.01. Watch that level. The Goldilocks have formed a Rhodes momentum indicator top on Friday. Uh, likely price is going to pull back to test the support area of its bullish structured profile. That's between 1974 and 1982. Silver doesn't really have a topping pattern. What it did was it made the 1.272 expansion of its last set of swing points. It did form a bearish reversal candle on Friday, but hard to call that really a top, but it could be. And right now, price is trading above the top of its daily profile. So the downside target for silver would be 24.45 and below that 24.04. Light Swing Crew has found resistance to the top of its weekly profile. That's up at 83.37. It's still trading above the top of its daily profile, which is 81.81. So hard to get very bullish or bearish, bearish, I should say there. Natural gas on Friday formed a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. Or by the D point. I got to go back and figure out which one it was. Either way, it was a bottom signal. The issue is the issue that we've had or natural gas has had for about the last couple of weeks. And that's down at the center of its profile. Now, I do have the June contract up here, and that number is $2.43. We're trading at 244 right now, and the 30 year Treasury should be at support. That support level is 129.22. Of course, we're trading at 129.21 right now. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. <laughs> Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. If you're about to start your Monday, please have a magnificent one. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care.